Alright, in this video we are going to identify the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the maximum or minimum value, and the range of each parabola. But what is different about these is these parabolas are going to be, this parabola is going to be in standard form. What does that mean? Well, let's see. Standard form is y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c. All right, the parabola we're going to be looking at is going to be y equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. All righty. Well, first thing I'm going to do is identify a, b, and c. Okay, a equals 1. A can never be 0. Why? Because A is multiplied times the x squared. If A were 0, it wipes this out and you would no longer have a parabola. Okay, B equals 6 and C equals 9. Okay, now in order to find a vertex or even the axis of symmetry, um, the x coordinate of the vertex and the equation of the axis of symmetry is this x equals negative b over 2 times a. Okay, so let's plug them in. So negative in place of b, I'm going to put 6 over 2 times a is 1. Well, 2 times 1 is 2, so we have negative 6 over 2, which reduces to negative 3. Now, how do we find the y-coordinate of the vertex? Well, the Glade plug-in song says it nicely. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> so we're just going to plug it into the original equation. So y equals, in place of x, we're going to put negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9. Well, negative 3 squared is 9. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, so minus 18 plus 9. Well, these are going to add to 0, so our y equals 0. So our vertex is the point negative 3 comma 0. Our axis of symmetry AOS is the vertical line X equals negative 3. <coughs> now our maximum or minimum value we have to determine first of all does this open up or down so I know if I have the top of a hill or the bottom of a valley. Well, A is positive, so this will open up. So opens up. So that means if it opens up, we have the bottom of a valley. So we will have a minimum value of 0. OK, so your minimum value equals 0 at x equals negative 3. Okay, now next thing we got to do is find the range. Well, since we know this opens up, all of our points are going to be above the minimum value. So our range is going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Now, let's get a graph. All right, I put a grid on here while we were paused. And let's first of all start with plotting our vertex. Okay, so we can make a table. We can say x values, y values. All right, our vertex is negative 3 
comma zero. So one two um, one two. Here's three zero right there. Every square is one unit. So every tick mark is two units. I just do that so it doesn't kill my eyes. Alrighty. Now, we can just choose a couple values to the left and a couple to the right. So, I mean, I could choose, um, well, one of the best values to choose, plug in zero. Because if you plug in zero for X, what happens? We have zero, zero, nine. Our y-intercept is 9. Okay. So, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, and here is 9 right here. Now, what's nice and magical, 0 is 3 units to the right of negative 3. So, 3 units to the left of negative 3 is going to be negative 6. At negative 6, it's also up at 9. So, let's see. So, 2, 4, negative 6, up to 9. Right there. Okay, all we really need to do is we could actually just connect these. Make our nice parabola shape. And there we go. Have fun. Now, if we wanted more points in here, we could have filled in with more points in between those. We don't really have to, so have fun graphing.